Hi there, my name is Gabriel, SEO manager at Hike SEO. And in this video, I want to introduce you to the new user interface of Google Analytics 4. Now the layout has changed slightly or significantly for many of you who may not have used Google Analytics very much. And I want to touch upon a few points in this new user interface that I think you will really enjoy. So as you've known, um, Google has switched a lot to using artificial intelligence in its products. And one of these ways that it's integrated this within the Google Analytics platform are the insights. Now you can find uh, different insights or search for them using natural language in the search bar. So this is your first start to pretty much anything in Google Analytics. And you can search different things like how many new users, and it will also suggest things. Um, how many new users did we get um, two weeks ago? Okay, and then it will tell you right there for instant answers. Um, it will also uh, come up with, let's say, how many new users, um, came from different countries. Okay, top country by new users, and it will show you the quick answer there. Uh, there's also really useful predetermined uh, insights right here. So you can look at basic performance ones, demographics, user acquisition, traffic analysis, technology, and e-commerce. So these are all predefined, but you can also search your own up here. Now the search bar also has different functions. You can access different parts of the platform here. So if I, if I wanna go to the admin settings, there we go, it, it takes me to that section, which is actually down here. Okay, um, let's say I wanna um, look at traffic acquisition, acquisition. There we go, it goes to specific reports. So I can just click on that and go directly there. So it allows you to navigate, allows you to look at different insights and access different features of the product. So always start with a search bar. It makes it really simple uh, to use. Now, within each of these reporting sections, uh, you can basically uh, do different things. So I want to show you a few things. Um, this section right here, and you won't see all the options because I'm using Google Analytics demo account so you won't see the edit option which is on the right side here like a pen icon um, but that allows you to uh, edit the layout here of this of these different widgets and allows you to add different widgets and whatnot so that allows you to customize it let's go through each one of these so the first one is edit comparisons and this basically allows you to uh, compare this report right here with a different dimension um, so let's say we want to compare this uh, dimension with, I don't know, um, country. Let's, let's do that. Okay, and we want to see United States and United Kingdom and compare those. Okay, and then apply. So it includes both in UK and, and US. So we can see actually... Uh, compared to all users, how many um, people, uh, how many users have come from US and UK. So we can also split this up. Let's have we just want to see them separately. Just get rid of that and add a comparison here and change up. And you can select different dimensions uh, here. If it's grayed out, that means it's um, not applicable to this kind of view, this report. So don't worry if you can't use it. So this comparison feature is really good and useful and you can add multiple ones where you can visualize dimensions in your reports so definitely use that and this option is to share your report let's say if you have clients or share it to your colleagues you can share this link directly right here and then insights this is by far the most exciting thing personally that i've found in google analytics 4 and again you can access this in different areas in the search bar right here 
and you can go through different things. So let's say, what are the top cities by users? Just click that, boom, there we go. It'll tell you um, New York, Toronto, Los Angeles, all of this. So those are the three options here. And also you will see the date range and you can select presets here or do a custom range and you can compare it to previous, uh, basically previous um, sessions. Um, so let's say you want to, previous periods. So let's say you want to um, compare it to previous period or same period last year or same period last uh, year matching the day of week. Uh, so there's lots of different options for comparisons in terms of time spans. So that's really useful up here. Now let me guide you to the left-hand column here. We'll start with the high level and home just takes you to the main um, dashboard here. But then you go to the report section. This is where all the reports are and we'll walk, I'll walk you through in these in just a moment. You have the explore section, so explorations, which allows you to create custom reports and cu custom um, visualizations, which is really, really useful. And so definitely explore that, no pun intended. And then you have the advertising platform. If you do Google ads or any other ads, this is where you would measure all of that. It's not so relevant um, in terms of SEO. And then configuration, uh, you'd have to go to the admin section. You can ac access it here or down here on the left. So let's explore a few of the menu items in the report section. So on the left-hand side, you'll see, we'll, we'll start on a very high level, the report snapshot. And that basically shows you everything here. Again, you can customize that if, you're, um, if you have the relevant permissions. And then you could also have the reports, uh, the re you also have the real time section, which is really useful to see what's happening right now on the website. Um, geographically, um, on different pages, uh, all of these things. Again, this can be customized. And then we go to the life cycle. So this basically gives you options for different parts of the customer life cycle, everything from acquisition to engagement to monetization. So each one of these sections has an overview. And then also for acquisition, you can look at where users first come from. And this really shows you new users and where they come from. And then traffic acquisition is generally where does traffic come from from all the users and you can break this down uh, and also uh, edit this report. Um, just want to show you one thing on the overview pages is that you can actually go into certain widgets and get a more detailed breakdown. You just click on these options down here and you can see it in more detail. So under engagement, uh, again, you have an overview and engagement is really broken down into four main sections, the events, uh, the conversions. So if it's a, a lead or a sale, uh, pages and screens. So pages are for websites, screens are for mobile apps and landing page. So the landing page is where a user first lands either in a session or uh, in their lifetime. And then monetization is more for e-commerce purchases, in-app purchases for apps. Uh, and ads as well. So this is more for revenue side of things, but it's definitely very important to, to look at this if you're running a business online. And then finally, you have the user section. This is all about understanding your audience. You have the demographics overview right here. And this basically tells you all the different aspects, dimensions that you can look for uh, within your audience to understand them better and then the detail breakdown right here. And again, you can customize this chart to look at different data segments. Next is the technology. So you can understand what kind of technology they're using um, and everything from web versus um, mobile device uh, versus desktop, what platform, what, what mobile um, operating system they're using, everything here. So let's go to that. Um, 
so yeah, web, desktop, mobile, tablet, uh, what, what OS are they using? Uh, what browsers are they using? The type of, uh, the category of device, even screen resolution, which is really useful to find out where, which screen re resolutions most of your users are using. So you can optimize your website and layouts for a more user friendly experience, especially for mobile. And then tech details, again, it goes more into depth here on the different, um, different dimensions, different metrics. And again, you can filter by different dimensions here. So that's how we just want to do operating system and we can see how many people, uh, how many users and visitors and sessions, um, are using different operating systems. So that's a quick overview. And if you have any questions, do reach out to us at support at hikeseo.co and also comment below in this video if there is a comment section. All right. Well, all the best and stay tuned for further in-depth GA4 training.